Mike McGlinchey got a five-year contract today for the Denver Broncos. I was shocked. $87 million. Why? Um, because offensive line plays horrible, and yeah. he's been healthy, and he's got a reputation as a guy who will play dinged up. Um, and yes, he's a high character. That's true. Um, and you know, I think that's that's, that's really it. Supply and demand, Grant. It. Supply and demand. But you know, the thing about about McGlinchey, he was he was pretty good, pretty good. Like as far as pretty good player. But then when you factor in the ninth pick in the draft, and he played right tackle, no, he's you know you didn't mm. need to invest the ninth pick in the draft on him. On our, especially on a right tackle who doesn't have great a pass block pass blocking ability. But it's funny, mm. I saw one weakness that kind of broke down his whole game. He just had a weakness kicking out quickly against the league's fastest speed rushers. Yep. And what happened was he would compensate with it by getting so off balance yep. that then you could club him and he would go flying That's with true. no base. And it led to some really bad looking plays yeah. on video. Yeah. And so I think we all kind of, those all circulated. So there's the image of him is so much worse. He actually graded out pretty highly compared to average right tackles across the league. And there's just a dearth of good O linemen. And, um, and especially but his low know, lights are crazy bad. Yeah, yeah. His low lights are it's amazing the same issue. Bad. It's the same issue. Yeah. Like if you, if you, you know, who gave you, do you remember that game against the Eagles when he went up against, I think it was Jannard Avery and he just ate his lunch. I mean, the smaller, quicker guys are the guys that McGlinchey just is lunging for. And then you, yeah. he's, he's knocked off balance. And then you can yeah. counter where he's, le- you know, leaping outside to get the speed rusher to the point where a club to the, to his left shoulder just knocks him flying. So I just, to me, it was just that one issue is that he just didn't have the quickness to kick out like that. And it just broke his whole, whole, the rest of his game down and as a, as a pass protector. There was always this uh, debate among Niner fans and analysts. Like, is he good? Whatever, whatever you'd think he was to me when he was out of the lineup, they never missed him. I felt like Tom Compton did his job. Colton McKivitz did his job. So when they did they lose much? I don't think so. I think they'll be fine. And the idea of not having to pay him whatever it was, like how much? How much is he making? Nineteen cents. I, I can't even do the it's math. Done. It's um. I it, got it here. It's uh. Seventeen. Five years, eighty-seven and a half million with fifty plus guaranteed. Fifteen, sixteen. I, I don't know. I can't do the math. But it's a lot. And the fact that well, the only part that matters the, is the guarantee. It's got he got fifty sure. million. Fifty dollars. million guaranteed, Denver. Yeah. What are you thinking? That's an awful contract. Awful. That's an awful contract. It's I mean, between that and the Russell Wilson contract, what are they doing in Denver? Yeah. Sorry. I I, I you know, I would have been mad if the 49ers gave that kind of money to McGlinchey because that's just a dramatic overpay. But I totally agree. Time, and you said it already. They got by with Compton. They got by with with other Colton McKivitts. I think they can get fine. by with maybe you re-sign a Compton. You know, maybe you you have yeah. Colt McKivitz and and you still have Jalen Moore and maybe you go into the draft in the mid rounds for and maybe one guy on day one day one day two maybe another guy on day three maybe make a couple investments in the offensive line in the draft I mean that's and guys that you like but um, I, I I wouldn't pay Brendel and I wouldn't pay McGlinchey and I'm kind of glad they didn't pay McGlinchey. Yeah, I mean if you had to choose, spend sixteen million or whatever a year on Mike McGlinchey or spend a little bit more on Javon Hargrave. I mean, it's not, it's not even a question. Javon no. Hargrave is a legitimate impact player. Mike McGlinchey, you could say he's service. I mean, he's serviceable right tackle, serviceable right tackle with some horrendous moments. So yeah, then I just made the right call. I really don't know what the, the Denver, the AFC West in general, like you're, you're really telling me that that's the game-changing move for Denver. Watch out, Kansas City. We got Mike McGlinchey or, or, or the Raiders. Watch out. We got Jimmy coming to town like, all right, guys, you know, you're going yeah. nowhere. But, it's like, okay. Are you, are, they, are you trying to win or are you just trying not to lose by less? Are you trying to lose by less? That's well put. Uh, impulsive, says McGlinchey the Hamburglar. <laughs> <laughs> you even remind you of the Hamburglar from McDonald's? That's not nice. Trade Trey and Eric Armstead for a first round pick. Get Paris Johnson, the Ohio State U day one right tackle. Eric Parent, Trey Williams, Trent Williams in two seasons. Trey and Eric Armstead for a first round pick. 
Armstead. Be a lot of dead money this year. They trade Armstead, but next year they might. I don't know that Armstead. The NFL trades really. You really don't like the the multiplayer. You really don't. Why is that? It's a great question. I don't know. I have no idea why we don't see trades, but we don't. We see more of them than we have in the past. But remember, you know, the whole dead cap thing makes it tough to move players. You know what I mean? You never have to worry about that in basketball. We're trading him, and then all of a sudden, you'll see a report on Monday. This player is going to be traded, and then on Tuesday, he'll be like, "And if he's not traded, he's going to be released." It's like, well, then just release him. Why would and I? No trade one's going to trade him. him. Yeah. What are you talking about? It's like, yeah. What Leonard are you hoping Floyd. for, like a pick swap? On Monday, Leonard Floyd report he'll be traded. On Tuesday, if he's not traded, he'll be released. <laughs> and then on Wednesday, <gasps> let me call him up and trade for him. Hey, I hear you're going to release him. Let me give you an offer. <laughs> yeah. Take my picks. I don't want them. <laughs> 